Employment Allocation of Tips Bill, Second Reading. Mr Dean Russell. Thank you, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker. And I think most people would be shocked that if you give a tip through the business, uh, say via a credit card, which is increasingly more prominent and, uh, and popular to do now, that you can't guarantee that the end person, the person you gave it to or the team that you gave it to, will receive that. But sadly, as we may know across the board, uh, there are always those who are unscrupulous and those who are unfair and will choose to exploit their staff and keep the tips for themselves. Taking of tips, especially by credit cards and then perhaps businesses taking more than their, uh, not just fair share, but taking some of the share that they shouldn't even be getting. So if I were to give a, a, a tenner at the end of a meal directly to a, a waiter or waitress for, for them, and it's clear it's for them, this bill will not need to cover that because that's directly to them. If they've put it through the business, perhaps through a credit card, then that would be where this bill comes into force. Another aspect of fairness is also, as we've just talked about briefly, is making sure there's no deductions from tips. And so the core of this bill is the creation of a legal obligation for employers to distribute all tips, gratuities and service charges to workers without any deductions. So I urge the Minister to support this bill and I will hand over to Mr Deputy Speaker to continue proceedings. Thank you. I would, you know, I, I very much hope that Labour members on that committee will be able to be part of that constructive working relationship and that we get this into law as soon as possible and that the people on the receiving end of the tips start to see the benefit as soon as possible too. So I congratulate the Honourable Member for bringing this bill. This bill is certainly overdue and I'm glad to be supporting it today. He has my complete support and I very much hope, Mr Deputy Speaker, that we will see it smooth and swift passage onto the statute book. You know, you, if you take care of your staff for even one day, they'll take care of you for a lifetime. The government is therefore pleased to support this private member's bill. The question is that the bill be now read a second time. As many of that opinion say aye. Aye. Of the contrary, no. I think the ayes have it. The ayes have it. I congratulate the honourable gentleman on having achieved a second reading for his bill.